Hey everyone, now for some rather timely fun, we've got Harold Lloyd's 1928 silent comedy, Speedy. Now Harold, Speedy Swift, Harold Lloyd of course, is obsessed with baseball. So much so that he keeps getting in trouble at work, including his most recent job as a soda jerk. Now in spite of being fired from that job, he still decides to take his girlfriend, Jane Dillon, and Christy, to the Coney Island Amusement Park. Now, after a long day of fun, and spending all of his money, the two of them catch a ride home on a friend's moving truck. Now, on the way, Harold proposes marriage to her, but Jane turns him down. Now, she wants to marry him, but currently she is worried about her grandfather, Pop Dillon, Bert Woodruff. Now, he currently owns and runs the last horse-drawn trolley in New York City. But Railroad Magnet wants the route. Although he is very much unwilling to meet Pops and, quite frankly, Harold's asking price. Now, the next day, Harold gets a job as a taxi driver. Although he quickly gets a few ooh, tickets from the police. Now, one of his fares turns out to be Yankee player Babe Ruth, who quite obviously plays himself who needs to get to the baseball stadium for the game. Now, after he, he gets there er, through the cab ride, he invites Harold in to see the game. Now, while there, Harold overhears the railroad magnet on the phone trying to hire a bunch of thugs to destroy Pop's trolley, not to mention injure him as well, the next day. Now, Harold elects to take Pop's place the next day and, with the help of the neighborhood, fights off the thugs. That night, however, the trolley is stolen, and since Pop's contract with the city requires him to make a run once every 24 hours, Harold must rush to find it before time runs out and Pop's route is worthless. Now, the movie was shot on location in sites such as the old Penn Station, Yankee Stadium, and Coney Island's Luna Park. Now, of course, due to Harold Lloyd's popularity at the time, they had to hide the camera and secretly film their scenes at Coney Island to avoid attracting attention from adoring fans. Now, due to the location shooting, the costs were higher on this film than on his previous movie, The Kid Brother. Yet the movie still proved to be a big hit. It also it turned out to be Harold's last silent movie, as the advent of sound had begun the year before with the success of The Jazz Singer. While Harold took on talking pictures, he no longer enjoyed the success he had had with the silent comedies. Now, like the other Harold Lloyd silent comedies that I've seen, and besides Kid Brother, I've also got two more reviewed that will hopefully be showing up within the year. But I really enjoyed Speedy. There are many fun moments here, from the section at Coney Island to the final last-ditch trolley run, the fight just before that that is between the thugs and the American Civil War veterans in the neighborhood. Now remember, this movie is set in the 1920s, so these guys aren't exactly young here. But especially at this time of the year, with the baseball season coming to a close, the fun is all the baseball-related antics for er, a good part of the movie. Now Harold's way of using donuts and pretzels in a display case to show the baseball scoreboard for his, some of his co-workers at the soda fountain is rather clever and amusing. But obviously, it's Babe Ruth's cameo is one of Harold's cab fares that is one of the film's highlights. Now, oh, during this moment, Harold mainly pays attention to his passenger and <laughs> completely ignores the road. But while he's doing that, you can't help but laugh while also simultaneously sitting on the edge of your seat as he somehow manages to avoid crashing into the traffic. Now, while suicide itself is not a laughing matter, er, you can't help but chuckle at Babe Ruth's line of, if I ever want to commit suicide, I'll call you, unquote, at the end of his cab ride. But, again, this is an enjoyable movie, one I don't mind seeing any time of the year. Now, this year, it's more fun at this time if only enjoy the baseball parts without all the various health risks for the actual players. Not to mention it's kind of fun seeing footage of Babe Ruth hit a home run from an actual game. So, yes, I certainly recommend this one.
This movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Criterion Collection and is 1 hour and 26 minutes in length. Well, that should be all I have to say on this one, everybody, so thanks for listening, and I hope you keep tuning in for more.